Collinwood in the year 1840. Barnabas Collins and Julia Hoffman have encountered many dangers since their arrival in this time, but none as great as that which Julia faces on this night, for she has become the victim of a vampire and lays dying in a deserted lighthouse. Barnabas is on his way to her, but he does not know whether he will arrive in time to save her. Julia! Julia! Julia, can you hear me? It's Barnabas. Can you hear me, Julia? Barnabas. I've got to get you out of here. She must remain here. I wanted to spare you this. I wanted to... I wanted you to have peace. But I'm alive again, and I'm going to stay alive. When I leave, I will leave with Julia. No. There's nothing you can do to stop me. She can't go with you. She responds to my will. Look at me, Roxanne. You'll be sorry that you interfered, Barnabas. Julia. 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 Samantha tells me you're planning to stay in Collinsport. Randall, is that true? I've been thinking about it. Well, I, I do hope you decide to do it. We've all missed you, you know. But Roxanne always kept us informed about what you were doing. Oh, dear. I've done it again. It's all right, Flora. It's very difficult for me to realize that she's dead. I wonder who that could be. Good evening, Flora. Good evening. I would like to speak with Gerard Siles. Oh, good evening, Randall. Good evening. Uh, Gerard isn't here, I'm afraid, Lamar. He went to Collinwood earlier this evening. I see. Do you know what time you'll be back? I'm sorry, I don't. Oh, I do hope he's not becoming emotionally involved with anyone at Collinwood. Whatever do you mean by that? An insidious evil has crept its way into that house. I am not at liberty at the moment to divulge its nature. But if you're not at liberty to divulge it, why not say anything at all about it then. Randall! It's quite all right, Flora. I'm quite aware of Randall's unbelieving, but the Almighty will deal with his blindness. The Almighty will have his hands full dealing with yours. Well, one of you please tell me what you're talking about? Mr. Trask has somehow convinced himself that Collinwood is, is filled with witches and evil spirits. You are suffering from delusions. If you think Quentin Collins is what he seems, he is not. Quentin? Well, what has he got to do with it? Quentin Collins is in league with the devil. He is practicing witchcraft in that house. Mr. Trask, I've had enough of your inflammatory nonsense. Inflammatory, is it? Well, I find that a curious charge coming from you so soon after your dear sister's untimely death. Let my sister rest in peace. You seem content to merely accept her death, but I am not. I believe she was murdered by an act of sorcery, and I intend to prove it. Gentlemen, please stop shouting. Oh, no, 
Oh, he must be mistaken about Quentin. <laughs> the very idea of Quentin bewitching anybody is almost amusing. I do not find it amusing. You do not believe me now, Flora, but you will soon. I have confidence in your judgment and faith. I'm sorry I cannot say the same for you, Randall. Go on doubting me if you will. But I warn you, those who doubt the word of truth are only a shade less guilty than those who defile it. Good night. Flora, that man has a warped mind. He is imagining things. Randall, you must admit that Roxanne's death was very mysterious. And then that girl murdered in the village. And now Julia disappearing without a word. There may be a reason behind all this tragedy, but I don't believe it has anything to do with the supernatural. said there was a life after death, Lamar. Well, you were right. No, you're not the Roxanne I knew. Oh, why are you moving away from me? Lamar, you mustn't be afraid. You always said that you loved me, don't you remember? Yes, but I... Lamar, look at me. Keep looking into my eyes and don't be afraid. No. No. Don't come any closer, please. Stay away from me. Thank you for dinner, Flora, and for trying to help me forget troubles. I really appreciate it. You're not leaving, are you? Yes, it's late. I have an appointment early tonight. Flora, Desmond, is anyone home? What? What happened? I found her in the abandoned lighthouse. Oh, her neck. You must take her upstairs to a bedroom and then find a cross. A cross? What for? I can't explain it to you now. I've got to get a doctor. Doctor's with her now. He's managed to stop the bleeding. Is she going to be all right? That depends on whether we can keep the person who attacked her away from her. Person? Barnabas, I, I don't understand. I'm afraid there's, there's no gentle way of telling you this. Roxanne has risen from the grave. It was she who attacked Julia. afraid anymore. Are you, Lamar? No. Good. And I must leave you. No, please, Roxanne. Stay with me. Or take me with you. Oh, but you'll be seeing me again very soon. Everything is very different now, Lamar. Wherever you are, you will know when I want to see you again. You will feel me summoning you, and you will come to me. Understand? Yes, Roxanne. I understand. It is just not possible to return from the dead. I am telling you what I saw with my own eyes. I'm telling you that Roxanne died as a result of an attack by a vampire. 
She is now one of the living dead. I just cannot believe it. I know you don't want to believe it, but it's true and you must accept it. There's only one way that I could accept it. If I were to see her with my own eyes. I don't know whether we'll be able to find her tonight. But come with me and I will show you that what I've told you is true. Why did you come back here? I suddenly became very tired. I think you're coming down with a fever. Let me take your temperature. No, I'm all right. If I can just sit here for a moment. Well, of course, you're welcome to stay. And perhaps Gerard will return while you're here. Oh, yes. I do want to talk to him. Barnabas found his sister and tonight. She was attacked in the same way in the woods, the way Roxanne was. Attacked? It's very frightening. You know, there may be something to what you said earlier this evening. What I said? Yes. About the existence of witchcraft. Oh, yes, of course. I know now that those two attacks were not caused by natural means. Flora. What are you doing down here? You should be upstairs with Judith. All right, Barnabas, I understand everything now, and I cannot tell you how shocked I was to learn the truth. What do you mean? I mean you forget how well read I am in the supernatural. Those two scars on her neck. I understand now why you wanted me to get to the cross. She was attacked by a vampire, wasn't she? Yes, she was. As difficult as that is to believe. Did you place the cross near her? Yes, she's perfectly safe. I tried to get her to tell me who had attacked her, but she was unable to speak. Randall and I know who attacked her. You know who the vampire is? Yes. It's Roxanne. Roxanne? I can't believe it. I'm sorry to say it's true. Barnabas showed me her crypt, and her coffin was empty. Lamar. What are you doing back here? Oh, he wasn't feeling well, so he came here to rest and wait for Gerard to return. Mr. Trask, what's wrong? Are you ill? No, I expect it is only fatigue. Flora told me about your sister. I found the news most disturbing. I better go back upstairs and look in on Julia. Can I get anything for you, Lamar, before I go? No, thank you. Mr. Trask, were you on your way through the woods going home when you decided to come back here? Yes, I was. And you didn't meet anyone? No, no one at all. Actually, I didn't get very far before I turned back. Lamar Trask, you will hear me. Wherever you are, you will hear my voice, and you will come to me. You will come to me now, Lamar. My thoughts will lead you to me. What is it, Mr. Trask? I must be going. I thought you were going to wait here for Gerard. Well, it now appears that Gerard will be rather late, and I'm feeling very tired. If you will excuse me. changed completely since early this evening. I, I've never seen him so subdued. Can't you guess why he's so different? No. Why? He was lying to us. He met someone in the woods. Who do you think he met in the woods? 
Roxanne. Now, if we follow him, he may lead us to where she is. Side of him. Roxanne. I told you I would see you again, Lamar. Come to me. Come to me, Lamar. What was that? Someone followed you here. Roxanne? Roxanne, where are you? Where have you gone, Roxanne? Roxanne! You have no right to follow me here. Where is she? She heard us and disappeared. I must find her. No, trust. I'm not letting you out of my sight. Let go of You'll me. do as I tell you. Do you understand? Do you have a cross? Yes. She'll have to come back here before dawn. And you must not let her in that coffin. Aren't you going to be here with me? No. No, Trask is under her spell, and he will only hinder us. I'll take him to the old house. I know you don't want to do this, but it must be done. You understand, don't you? I only want for her to have peace. That's all I care about now. Roxanne. It's the only way, Roxanne. The only way that you can find peace. <laughs> 